Uh, I strongly support the democratic substitute because it, it requires states to actually provide college and career ready standards in English, in arts, in math, and in science. Uh, establishing standards and assessments in these subjects is absolutely necessary to prepare our students for higher education and entering the workforce. In particular, science education is essential to pursue careers in the occupations that will matter most in the 21st century economy, not just in our country, but worldwide. So, uh, when the, the gentleman on the other side of the aisle refers to the $30 billion price tag, he is actually overlooking the fact that there's uh, is it 16 million, so it's 14 more so that we can invest in uh, the future of our children as far as the jobs of the future are concerned. Unfortunately, the majority bill would remove the requirement that schools remain, maintain science curriculum, so and this is a huge step in the wrong direction. It, it signals to the world that science is really not that important. Uh, a national priority in the United States of America, which is very wrong -handed. Indeed, abandoning science education would have a profound negative impact on our economy. The Business Coalition for Student Achievement, uh, which is comprised of executives from every single sector of the economy, sent a letter to the committee recently criticizing the lack of standards and assessments in the base bill. Uh, they say that it is, and I quote them, a striking retreat from the principles of education reform that will position students to maintain America's competitive edge in the global economy. And specifically, Mr. Chairman, regarding science education, the coalition stated, and I quote them again, that the nation needs more, not fewer, engineers and scientists and experts in technology. So, Mr. Chairman, the message couldn't be any clearer from America's business community. And the committee ought to listen to them. We need to be doing everything possible to make science education accessible to all students, regardless of geography and socioeconomic background, so that they have the skills needed to compete in the 21st global economy, particularly girls and minorities that are underserved. Our future success as a nation requires that we uh, educate all of our children, that we do a better job educating them, and uh, this democratic substitute would reinstate the requirement that schools maintain science curriculums and ensure that students will be college and career ready in science and other essential subjects. So, Mr. Chairman, here we all are concerned about the rapid advancements being made uh, in places like China, and we're sitting here debating whether schools should be required to teach science. It's outrageous. Mr. Hino, also. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In time, and I'm ranking under order, I rise in support of the Democratic Substitute to HR 3099, recognizing the enormous need for STEM education, literacy programs, and a well rounded education. As Democratic Substitute strikes current law, Title V, Part D, and replaces it with programs dedicated to improving student achievement in STEM subjects, literacy, and other subject matters leading to a well rounded education. This amendment would create a comprehensive program for STEM education from birth through grade 12 and a separate funding stream to bolster. STEM education. The program will place a special focus on students who are traditionally underrepresented in STEM fields, such as minorities and women. Of 34 industrialized countries, the U.S. ranks 17th in science and ranks 25th in math. This is clearly unacceptable. A dedicated funding stream for STEM would support our nation's efforts to train a new generation of scientists, engineers, mathematicians, increasing our nation's competitiveness in the global economy. 
We also know that students need to understand how to use technology in the 21st century economy. The Democratic Substitute provides dedicated funding that education technology supports, including professional development for teachers, paraprofessionals, library and media personnel, and administrators in the effective use of the technology tools and resources to deliver instruction. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I wanted to make some of the points that Mr. Inhosa made with respect to uh, STEM education. I think it is uh, terribly ill advised that uh, HR 3990 removes the dedicated funding streams for STEM education. I also believe it is short sighted that there is no support for recruitment or training of STEM teachers. I'm willing to bet that virtually all of us, at one point or another, uh, have spoken in our districts uh, about the need to improve STEM education in this country. It's, 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 it's one of the most pressing needs we have with respect to both our K-12 education and our higher education system. The Democratic Substitute recognizes this need, and it also incorporates Section 5405, incorporates a bill that I have filed to create a STEM Master Teacher Corps program, which would greatly facilitate uh, the recruitment and retention of, of STEM teachers, and a lot of research in, demonstrates that students gravitate to STEM fields based on the mentoring uh, that their teachers provide and based on the extent to which teachers are, are able to get them excited about the team I'm sorry. the team Can I just finish my um, but I just think that having a master teacher program for uh, full staff subjects and being able to attract teachers when they have so many other options to attract people into that field is something that's very wise and something that deserves our support and I'd be happy to I thank the gentleman and I, I, I thank him for his comments. I, I too believe in that STEM education and how important it is. One of the universities in my district, uh, Aurora University, has a STEM program and it is to make sure that the, the teachers have the, the uh, the substance of what they are teaching, and, and I know that the uh, president of the university said, you know, so many times the uh, teaching is uh, it's in schools and universities is how to teach, but what we really need to do is to have them look, know the subject matter that they are teaching, and I think that that is provided in, in this, the STEM education. I thank you for bringing that up. Mr. Hart, you recognize for five minutes. As I pointed out earlier, the underlying bill would eliminate the only existing dedicated science education, STEM education focused program, the Math and Science Partnerships. Democratic substitute would create a comprehensive STEM education program uh, from the earliest years all the way through. Uh, the substitute bill would provide money to conduct needs assessment at a district level, would create a science master teacher core program, would retain and take steps to retain science teachers. Um, We'd have research-based professional development. Uh, I could go on and on about the differences between the underlying bill, which is completely silent on science. Oh, yeah, don't pay lip service to science, but not when it comes to actually educating our children. And the substitute that we have from Mr. Miller. I don't need to go on about the international comparison tests and how other countries are passing our students by. Uh, I don't need to go on, I don't think, I would hope about the, uh, the difficulty in recruiting the kinds of science teachers that we need. Uh, but let me just talk about the one thing that I only touched on earlier today that deserves more emphasis. That is providing 
support for the teachers that we have. Uh, now, of course, this is not to get into all the things that have gone on in this content in New Jersey and other places, uh, as people try to discredit teachers. I'm talking about providing simply the good professional development that they deserve. Not uh, occasional in service days, but a real integrated program of professional development that will connect them with master teachers and mentors uh, that will allow them to share uh, curriculum and teaching methods uh, that will develop the kind of uh, inquiry-based critical thinking science that we need all the way through so that we can have science for all American students. Um, for the sake of their future quality of life, for the sake of, of a, um, a country that is run by thinking citizens, uh, for the sake of international economic competitiveness, uh, for the sake of so many things. The, the difference between the democratic substitute and the other underlying bill is really stark. And I can't emphasize too strongly that I haven't even gotten to uh, libraries.